Okay then gang, in this next lesson I want to talk about something called parameterized tests using the each method directly on the it function. And it's a way to pass test values and expected values into the tests themselves. So I'm back here looking at this test case for the shipping cost where we have multiple assertions for testing different weight values. And in each case we have a different expected outcome. So we're testing this case using multiple values and I think this gives me the opportunity to show you how to use this each method to pass values into this test case. So we're going to rewrite the way we run these same assertions now using the each method. And to use this function, we can just tack it on after the it method right here, and then we invoke this each method. After the each method, we still keep everything else the same for now. But now inside the each method, we can pass an array of data to pass into the test case. So I'm going to make that array now, and then I'm just going to paste in a bunch of objects to be the values inside this array. Now, each object has a weight property and a value, which we'll be passing into the shipping cost function call. It also has an expected property and a value as well, which is going to be passed into the to be matcher method. And all of these values, by the way, match the current input values and expected values we're using down here in the assertions. So then we're now passing this data into the test case. And when we do this, the string in the next function call becomes kind of a formatted string where we can output the property values within it using dollar signs for any properties. So I could change this string to be something like charges and a dollar sign expected for weight, dollar sign weight. And VTest will now substitute in the actual values of the expected and weight properties when we run this, okay? Also, in the next function, we automatically get access to these values, which we can destructure inside parentheses. So I could use curly braces to do that and specify I want to access the weight value and the expected value. And inside this function now, we can use those values. So instead of manually adding all of these values to multiple assertions, I can delete all but one of them. And then I can pass those values into this single assertion. So for the shipping cost, we can pass in the weight value we destructured from the argument. And then we can pass in the expected value we destructured into the 2B matcher. So now what's happening is this. We're saying for each of these objects in the array, run this test case function, which accepts an argument containing those data properties. And then for each one, we're just running this single assertion using those values. So overall, we're still running the same amount of assertions, but we're just structuring this a little bit differently using this each method, which iterates through each one of these data objects and runs the assertion for each one in turn. Okay, so now you've seen how to use this approach, let's go ahead and apply it to the next test case down here, which is for testing the boundaries of each pricing tier. And it might be a good idea now if you're coding along to pause the video and try this out for yourself. And then once you've given it a shot, just press play again and compare it to my code. All right, so let's give this a go. I'm gonna tack on the each method right here, and then we'll pass in an array. And then I'm just gonna paste in a bunch of data. Now, these objects correspond to the values we pass into these functions right here. So one and then 399, five, then 599 and so forth. So now we can rewrite this if we wanted to, to include these things. So I'll do that. I'm gonna say charges, correct, tiers at boundaries, like so. And then I'll do a colon and then I'll say dollar sign weight and then a little arrow to say it should be expected. So remember, it replaces these things where we have a dollar sign in front of them, then the property name with the actual values, all right? So it should say charges, correct tiers at boundaries, and then for the first one, one, and then an arrow, 399 to show what the weight and expected value is. All right, so now let's destructure the two properties, weight and expected. And now inside here, we can get rid of three of these. We'll delete this comment as well. And then we'll just replace this one with the weight, and then 399 with expected. So now it's gonna run this single assertion for each one of these things, because like I said before, it runs this code for each value inside this array, okay? So then let's save this now, and I'm gonna open the terminal just to make sure everything still passes, which it should do, because nothing's actually changed with the tests themselves. It's just the way we're structuring the tests using this each method.